Hi friends, welcome. In this lesson, we will be continued by placing or inserting the pole lines, adding loads on the pole lines, dead load, life load, as well as the wheel load on the pole lines. And then we will carry out the analysis of the whole of this structure. Check the members if they have passed or they have failed the design successfully. So that's what we're going to be considering. So let's get started. I want to urge you to like the lesson, subscribe if you have not subscribed to this channel, as I will be bringing you an advanced lesson of this kind on this channel almost every day. Stay tuned as we continue. Straight away, I will navigate to the modeling tab, and then I'll go straight away to the steel member panel. I will have to choose this polyline, all right? No, there are two ways of inserting polyline. If I activate the polyline right away, it is either you select, you have to select two trusses to actually at the insert the polylines right away. For instance, if I select this and then I select this uh, second one, the polylines dialog will come up just like this. In the polyline, there are so many options and how you can change the spacing of the polylines. As you can see, this spacing now, what we have here is one meter, which is 1000 millimeter right away, but you can still change it from uh, one meter. If you want to use 1.2, if you want to use 900, that means you have to come to this generation method and then by trust joint. That is where these polines are being placed, you can see. But um, you can also uh, change by spacing. All right, so once you activate by spacing, these provisions will be prompting so as you can impute your own spacing. All right, but in this lesson, we will be considering by trust joint. I just want to explain that to you and as well as the polines sections. The profile you can see it is 100 by 150 by 10. We are going to be considering this profile, all right? So if I should click on OK now, you see the uh, pole lines will be inserted successfully on the uh, trusses, just like this. And you can see the uh, tension rod also be inserted automatically, all right? At a given spacing. So it will continue to place it on the truss. This will keep time, and so therefore we can place it on all of these trusses at once. And how do we do that? You have to select so as to delete this one that we have already uh, inserted. Right click right there, select delete, and it will go off just like this. All right, then we will go back to the uh, steel member panel in the drop down menu. Select polyline again this time around. You select the first polyline and then go all the way to select the last polyline. All right, the, sorry, the first thrust and the last thrust. So once you click on the last one, uh, the polyline dialog will come up just like this. If we zoom closely to the polines, just like this, you will see how it's being placed and the distances is being maintained properly. All right. So with this now, we are going to be adding loads on this uh, polyline, the dead load and the life load as well. Okay. For the sag rod, you can edit it using this tab, sag rod. Once you place that, you can be able to activate the number of sag rod as well as the spacing. But in this lesson, we are going to be considering the default uh, spacing, all right? So these are different manual, you can see auto fit, all right? And none, if you don't want sag rod, you can choose none and you will not see any of this sag rod right there, okay? So what we will be doing now is uh, we are going to be placing loads. So we'll come to the under analysis, you have loads, click there on the loads. And then you will see uh, these provisions, the load provisions is prompting. At first, we want to look at the G load, which is the uh, dead load, right? So the dead load of this, we are going to be clicking on add after you must have select in this drop down menu, select the load you want to consider. You want to consider the G load, which is dead load, click on add right there. So once you click on add, you can now be, you cannot be able to add your load. For the dead load, we are going to be consider it to be 2 point, 0 0.25 kN per meter. Right? So once you must have you know in key in the load value, you go straight away to all elements, click in the drop down menu. And then select L1. So the load we apply is L1, all right? Automatically assigned as L1. You can see the label here, okay? So click on OK. So this load now will be applied on the structure, on the roof of the structure, just like this, okay? So this is how it's being applied. If we scroll down, we notice all the field and the groups, the load has been applied successfully, just like this, all right? So for the live load, we will be. Uh, Selecting the drop down menu, click on the Q, and then you assign it. As in, click on the add load to actually make it uh, prompting 
in order for us to change the load value to 1.5 just like this and then we click on the all element provisions select select all which is the second load is being labeled as l2 click on ok to activate the load right there so you can see the load so if you want to change the direction of the load you just want to insert a uh, prefix the 0 0.5 with a negative sign all right so for the wind load we will click in the drop down menu we know the x direction so if you check the coordinate system you can see the universal coordinate system here uh, the x y and the z all right the z is pointing upward okay so we don't have wind loads coming from the z direction because the z direction is the direction of the uh is the direction of the gravitational uh, uh, force all right so uh, wind load does not come through that uh, uh, directions it comes from either the y or the x uh, directions all right based on the coordinate system of this particular program all right so we select the x for the x we will be having the wind load click on add load uh, we add the wind load as one we want to prefix this with minus all right select that as minus one then come to assign all elements come to all element provision click on select or click ok so that the load will be assigned so you can see the direction of the load now okay so for the we load in the y direction we add the load right there and we have that to be uh, 0 0.1 uh, uh, itself 0. Point, sorry 0. 0.12 just like this then come to the provisions right there select add all and add all the loads so this is how to add loads dead load life load as well as wind load manually to uh, the steel roof uh, Polines, which the load will be transferred to the crosses and also being transferred to the column from the co columns it will be transferred to the foundations of the structure successfully so after which you click on the okay so once you click on the okay the polines will be inserted automatically on the uh, trusses successfully so click on okay give the progress some time to load the polines on the trusses just like this you can see and again, if you want to have a kind of a, a cantilever lines that will serve as a clouding here, okay, you can do that also in the polines dialog. There is a provision where you add a cantilever, okay. So we have successfully added the load on the polines, on the steel uh, polines successfully. And right away, you want to go to load this. And then if you, we check this wheel load, you will notice that wind load has been assigned there is an automatic window calculator by the time you get the you get the way basic wind speed of your area for instance in this case let me change the basic wind speed to be 32 meter per second and then the terrains and the surroundings of the construction site will be actually noted and some measurement of the height of is uh, is and as well as the tree that surrounded that could prevent wind from you know getting to the structure should be noticed should actually be uh, measured so that you can fit in these provisions and after which you come to terrain category this category if you select in these provisions you can see various category the category we are considering is category uh, six you can see area in which area in which uh category four rather area in which at least 15 percent of the surface is covered with building and their average height exceed 15 meter all right so we choose this category depending on the category of your construction site right because this is a large tree structure that i'm designing is a reproject actually okay so you just have to click here to actually generate the report by then building category is a very first concrete uh, structure we will change it to uh, steel right or we'll change it to composite or roc tower or chimney depending on what you're doing but in this case we we'll change it to composite why do I choose composite? Because there is a steel in the structure, there is also a concrete in the structure. All right, it's not a steel throughout. If it's a steel throughout, I will choose steel right there. If it's reinforced concrete structure throughout, I will choose reinforced concrete structure throughout. Yeah, okay. But in this case, the composite, so, because the combination of reinforced concrete and steel, all right. So click on composite to select that, and then you apply that. Okay, successfully, the wind has been calculated based on that uh, basic wind speed in meter per second. So, click on okay. All right, so. For the load combinations, load combination has been selected successfully. As you can see, all right. So if we click on this loading, if this provision in your own has not been selected, click on this loading 
there will be provisions click on this loading and the dialog an automatic loading editor dialog you can be able to select the vertical load combination come to the horizontal load combination make sure that the win is checked right you make sure that the win load is checked successfully these provisions you have to check these provisions because if you do not change check these provisions the load will not be uh, actually applied on that structure as in the wind speed the delivery wind speed so you have to check these provisions click on ok all right so we have successfully uh instructed the plans we loaded the structure save the structure right away click on it save provisions to save the structure so the next thing we are going to be looking at is the analysis right and design of the structure so we are going to analyze the structure and then as well design the structure uh, as the analysis is in progress the design will also be carried out so how do we do that we navigate straight away to to the analysis tab and then we will click on the building analysis this one so in this building analysis dialog we navigate straight away to check the parameters the project's parameters all right you can see the code we're using all right the bs5950 we're using for the foundations, we have the foundations, allowable stress of soil to be 120 kilo newton per square meter. So, right, the title of the project is the title of the Talk Innovation Center. So, right, and then ATC uh, uh, Limited. All right, is the company that is to construct the structure. All right, so after that has been filled successfully, click on OK. All right, so for the material, you have to edit the material for the concrete. All right, because this provision is made for the concrete, and for the steel, you have to choose. The steel, the minimum steel uh, strength. Then the structure will analyze and choose the right steel strength that will be used to buy the steel members in the market. All right. So if you click on this wheel bars, you can see the isolated 16, 20, and 25. All right. So I've already checked all of these places. All right. For the columns, the beams, as well as the slab. All right. Then for the foundation, the center has been checked. The strength of the concrete and for, as well as the grit of the concrete. We consider this successfully. Click on OK. So after which, for the wind, we have already navigated there and, they, and, and we carry out the settings successfully. So we come to analysis. The analysis, we click on the building analysis. So in the building analysis, uh, bash design options dialog, we have to check the columns. We also check the beams, check the steel members as well. So we ask the structure to run analysis. Checking this simply means the structure is going to run analysis of these uh, structural members and as well design them. But if you did not check any of this, you are telling the program, the software to only run analysis and then the design, maybe you use bash mode method of design to design each of the structural elements. All right. But we wanted analysis and design at once. So we get the steel and the concrete checked successfully. Click on feeding analysis. So we give the program some time to actually analyze the structure successfully. And the structure is a very large project. So it's, it's going to take uh, some time, but we'll try to minimize the time, all right? So the builder analysis is completed successfully. Just as we click on close. So it has transferred us to the analytic model. So this is the analytic model, all right? In these provisions, you can activate the bend the moment diagram. You can also check the animations activate the displacement of this structure and as well you can check the animations of this uh, structure to show you the behavior of the loads on the structure we'll go back to the story for tab so we are going to be checking the structural members for first to look at the steel stanchions we right click and then you navigate to the steel members design in the steel member design, you can see the design is successful. Check for combined forces. The utilization ratio is less than one and it has passed design. All right. The sections 203 by 203 by 46. All right. Share check has also passed. And axial compression check has also passed for the uh, steel stanchions. Let's check for this uh, first floor steel stanchions. Uh, you click right there. Everything has also passed design successfully. Okay, the utilization ratio here is 0 0.9, 0.92, all right? So click on OK. Now we'll look at the trusses. Let's see the truss members. 
we look at the first trust and then select the member design the trust has passed design successfully all the members all right we scroll down to check that is for the top bar uh, the top uh, code the verticals as well as the bottom code everything has passed design successfully all right so click on ok now I want to check the polines to see if the polines has actually passed the design get the polines selected just like that right click and select member still member design so these are the polines you can see the deflection check has also passed Declaration ratio has passed you can see all right so all the polines has passed all the structural elements of the steel members has passed all right let's check the concrete member the columns check the column sections section has been selected for this column successfully as you can see if you navigate to the interactive design right there you can see 8y16 selected for the columns right click on okay so now all the members has passed now this structure is set to be transferred to uh proto steel all right but by then in the next lesson we will be the designing the foundation if you have any question drop it at the comment section i'll be happy to attend to your question and don't fail to like and subscribe to this channel as we will be bringing more important lessons like this to you on this channel stay tuned in the next lesson we'll look at the foundation design of this structure bye for now